All my life, I've had a dream. A dream of seeing the North Star with my own eyes. Unfortunately, this dream has never come to pass. But lately, and relentlessly, so many people have told me that the Earth is flat. If they're right, this will bring about a new age of wonder and my dream may finally come true. Oh, how I wish the Earth is flat so I may finally make a wish on the North Star Polaris. Alright, let's try and find it. Here's the view of the night sky near Toronto, Canada, courtesy of YouTuber KC. This star here is Polaris, and just to be sure, we have a star trail. All the stars moving anti-clockwise around a central point. This clearly shows us that this star here is Polaris and North is here. Now here's my view of the northern sky near Sydney, Australia, verified with a ball compass. And the same view at night. If the Earth is flat, we should be able to find Polaris like we did with the Star Trail from Canada, right? Let's do it. Play the Star Trail. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Where am I? It's like I'm upside down or something. I really thought I was going to get to see Polaris. But it's almost like there's a whole planet in the way. It's just not fair. Why would the Flat Earthers lie to me? Hmm. Maybe if we look the other way. Let's look out my backyard. Let's look south this time and see what we can find. South verified again. And let's switch to night time. Okay, we can see the Southern Cross and a few other unique celestial objects only seen from the Southern Hemisphere. I wonder what will happen if we do a star trail from here. Hold on, we're going for a spin. <laughs> well, look at that. All the stars moving in the opposite direction this time around a central point. This is the Southern Polar region of the sky, proving that the Earth does indeed have two poles. But this time, there's no bright central star, just a handful of faint stars. This is clearly not a reflection of the northern sky. So, I guess my dream of seeing Polaris will just have to wait until I visit the northern hemisphere, seeing as the Earth isn't flat. I'd like to give a huge thank you and shout out to YouTuber KC for letting me use her star trail of the northern sky. She actually has a great channel which I highly recommend you take a look at. She's a Canadian math teacher and definitely a great ally against the flat nuts. This video is great, she shows the sun doesn't change size in cold weather. And she does something really cool at the end of that video with her P900. I really like that one. This one, she zooms in on a distant farm light with her P900 and the light looks just like the images Flat Earthers use to try and prove stars aren't real. That one's awesome too. But this one here, this is her latest. This is great. She shows the atmosphere doesn't magnify distant objects. She uses demonstrations, math and observations to explain perspective properly and how it actually works in reality. So yeah, definitely check out her channel. She's a great friend of mine check it out. Now one more thing for the record, I did eventually find where Polaris is. It's just down here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>